All right, so here we have Gypsy Fiddle from Red Room Audio, a very deeply sampled fiddle, lots of uh, articulations here, lots of options uh, for this instrument, for native instruments contact. Now there at the beginning we played sort of a folk metal style, uh, sort of a track. If you wanna hear some more, you know, sort of traditional or standard style uh, samples, head over here to the Red Room Audio website, read about this instrument and right here, you're gonna find a ton of you know more traditional style samples of things you might want to use this uh, fiddle for. There's also a full walkthrough video on this site as well. Of course, we're gonna have this linked in the description below, but I wanted to do something a little less traditional to show that you know you think about a fiddle, you might not think that you need a fiddle or whatever use a fiddle, but as we show here, you can actually use it in metal, you know, a folk metal style like um, you know Elvetti, Cellar Darling, things like that. Uh, but, you know, pop, rock, uh, you can do rap and hip hop. Uh, just get, you know, get creative with your different instruments and you can really use this uh, in anything at all. We, I actually have a guitar track and a couple of vocal tracks that uh, we didn't play at the beginning because I really wanted the focus to be the fiddle. But just to get an idea of how this could also integrate with uh, screaming vocals and guitar, we'll play this here. Now, the guitar and the vocals aren't technically done. They're more... They're more raw sounding right now, but let's just check out what that would uh, sound like. Alright, so again, just an example of using a fiddle with, you know, heavy distorted guitars, screaming vocals. This is not just for, you know, more classical fiddle styles. You can really use this library with anything at all. So let's go ahead and check it out and sort of see how to use it real quick here. Alright, so let's look over the interface here real quick just so we can see uh, how to use it. So first up, once you install Gypsy Fiddle, of course, open up Contact. Again, you will need the full version of Contact. Once you get that, don't come over here to libraries. You'll come over here to files and then you'll find it right here. Gypsy uh, fiddle right there. Go to your instruments and there's three different instruments. So our main instrument is the gypsy fiddle. Then you have a light version of that, which uses you know a reduced sample set. So it might be a little bit easier on your computer. And then we have the phrases and effects, which we'll look at uh, towards the end of the video. So right now we have the gypsy fiddle loaded up right here. And the interface looks, you know, might look a little bit confusing with all of these articulations, but uh, we'll explain what these things mean. So right here, we don't click on any of this, by the way, okay? This is just a list of our articulations so we can see uh, quickly and easily exactly what they are. And we have two different pages here of articulations. We have RC, so our core articulations, things like sustain, trills, things like that. Then we have the E's, which are extended articulations. Then we have the O, which is for our ornamentals. Okay. So to select all of these, just come down here to all of our key switches. You'll see all of our key switches down here. Now a tip, if you don't have this on here in contact, come up here and make sure you have this info turned on. As long as that is turned on, whenever you come down and you hover over these keys, you're going to see exactly what everything is. So if I click my sustain, I have my sustain. Now, as you can see right here, key C0, that's our C0 key, of course. And for this sustain, we have a velocity of uh, 26 to 115, the prog vibe of 1 to 25 on the velocity for our second uh, total articulation control technology, uh, how we have it set up right now. And then for the accented, it's 116 to 127. So that just means if I press between 1 and 125 velocity, we're going to get that articulation. I press a little harder. We're going to get the standard sustain. If I press really hard, we're going to get that accented. And also for those who don't know here in contact, in case you like to click around on the actual keyboard here, if we click down towards the end here at the top of the key, that's a lower velocity. And up here is a higher velocity. So we have a lot of different articulations in here. They've really done a good job to capture the true sort of 
feeling and sound of a fiddle, which is not really uh, easy to do. So I'm, I'm assuming you kind of know how contact instruments work. I have a nice spiccato right there, pizzicato. Then some, uh, let's go up here to a gypsy trill. With our speaker icon, you can see right up here, the articulation that we're on. So here's some ornamentals. So if I just press the standard sustain, but maybe I want to put some uh, flourish on that or something, some passion, here's some horse. So just trigger that as I'm holding down the sustain in this case. Want some passion, there's some ghost, so on and so forth. So just switch through your articulations, either of course playing them in live or program them in your DAW. Even here at the, at the beginning track, uh, we programmed in some key switches, which you can see down here. So we have a key switch there, which is our sustain. Now up here across the top, you're gonna see some icons again. As long as you have that info turned on, you can really learn exactly how this works just by hovering over things. So hover over this, this is force string, and you can see our force strings down here. If I hold that down, you can see it turns into that lighter green or lighter blue color. And we can force the string, say force on the string two, on string one, on string four. If you want to, you know, force the notes on uh, those keys, you can see when legato, is active, we can also see the direction of the bow. And if we look down here in our settings, you see Rebo new, or we can go to the length. So whenever they run out of, uh, you know, a bow. So here on new, of course, gonna change directions. In this case, we'll go to length. And it changes after the length of the bow would be uh, used up. And these settings here are gonna change a little bit depending on the exact articulation that, that you have. But let's move over here. We have dynamics, which is pretty self-explanatory. So of course, modulate that, automate that for more realism. With, we can pull this way down. Make it uh, down to mono or more stereo there. And the timber of the overall instrument here as well. Make it darker or brighter, whatever works for the track that you are working on. Then we have our mode here. Again, hover over things as long as you have your information turned on there and you can read exactly what that does. So right now it's on smart, but I can still get polyphony there. As long as I play that note within, I think it's 50 milliseconds. But if I just want it to be straight mono, And on mono, I can, you can re-trigger a note without actually releasing it. So hold down one note, press another note, and then release that note. Then you have poly, so we can play two notes, up to two notes. And then smart, as we already saw, and then we have a double stop here as well. And our gear icon, which will let us choose uh, the intervals for that double stop say fourths and uh, fifths and even customize it however you know, however you want then we'll switch our articulation to say 16th rep and now we have a little different setting here so speed right now is on normal change that to double all right flourish there And over here, let's go back to our sustain. We can choose these samples for our open notes. We can have them be fingered, a fingered sound. Or open. Or unison. And down here we have scale lock again. You can read what that does. So our double stop and ornaments will automatically complement the scale that we select in this yellow range. So let's say put on a double stop and change the scale lock here. Put this back on smart. Now down here, you'll see a couple of tabs. So we can head over to our tact or our total articulation control. There's also presets that you can load or of course save your own and uh, load those up really quickly. 
So just as an example, real quick here. We're on sustain right now. If I turn that off, then we don't even have that. So you can turn off any articulations that you don't want. We can set the volume for each articulation here. So to sort of, you know, balance everything out as you're switching between all of your uh, articulations. And you can see we have three different rules here. You don't have to use all the rules, but uh, you can set up as many uh, as you want up to three here. So right now, this sustain, this sustain, and this sustain all have the same key selected, and that key is C0 for our key switch. And we can always switch things up here by using velocities, CCs, bins, range, pedals, things like that, and of course, change the key. So for example, if I just want this key or this sustain, which we remember is this here, with the key C0, so the trigger uh, key or the key switch C0, plus our velocity of 26 to 115. If I want to break this sustain out, I can do that. I can just switch, say maybe the key switch and maybe put this down, uh, say on E1, and then we can see that key switch is now way down here. All right, we put this back on C0. And for our second rule, again, we know it's 20, uh, 26 to uh, 115. So I can always change that, click and drag. And whenever I drag this way down, these two turn red because we can see there's a conflict between them because our velocity keys, our velocity numbers in this case are overlapping. So keep in mind, if they turn red, you have some sort of a, a conflict there, uh, some overlaps there and what you have set up. I'll go to load here and just load up the main again to get back to where we were. And there we go, we're ready to uh, ready to go. Now we do have several pages of articulations here. Just click these dots and you can set things up exactly how you want. Some things will have a latch on them. So spiccato, for example. We're on sustain right now. If I switch to spiccato using my key switch, I can just click it once. Of course, use the key on your uh, MIDI keyboard. Now we're in spiccato and that's because it's on latch. But if you would prefer to hold down the key switch instead of having it be latched, I can just turn latch off. And then if I want spiccato or whatever you happen to uh, choose here, like pizzicato, for example, then if I want spiccato, I'll just hold down that key switch, release it back to sustain. And of course you can play that in live using your keyboard, or of course program all of that in to your MIDI uh, data, however you do that in your DAW. All right, so then we have the effects rack which is currently turned off, but I already have some effects loaded to turn those on or off. Just click the button right there. To load an effect, just click your drop down, load up whatever you want, maybe a compressor right there. Select the effect to actually change the parameters. You can actually uh, randomize your parameters with your dice icon right there. I can remove an effect. I can switch where that effect is in the chain just by using these arrows right here. We also have rack presets, so you can save a full rack preset, load full rack presets, and of course save a separate slot presets as well. So if you have you know certain settings for you know different instruments or for different uh, setups, you can save those individually and save the entire rack for quick recall. So that's an overview of all of your options here in the Gypsy Fiddle instrument. But uh, that's not all that comes with Gypsy Fiddle. You also get the uh, phrases and effects in KI as well. So let's go ahead and pull this one up here and see what this is. So in our phrases and effects, it's laid out pretty similar in the, uh, you know, choosing your key switch here. And you can see our phrases and effects. So effects, percussive, C0, uh, C sharp zero, so on and so forth. So just choose the correct uh, key switch. And then you'll have a range of uh, phrases or effects that you can just play by selecting the note. So right now we're on the polyphonic improvs. I can change the volume of each of these, okay? So keep in mind, if I play this one here, I wanna change the volume of this phrase. Lower, I can change the tune, the width, the speed. But whenever I go to another phrase, I can tune that one up, change the volume, change the speed. So turn the speed down, for example. Change the start of that loop or the end of that loop. If I just want to use a portion of it. 
And then whenever I go to a different phrase, I can of course change that one. So just keep in mind, this is per phrase or per effect. And there's a lot of different samples and loops in here. String noises for more realism to add in there. If you need that slower or faster, just adjust it right there. Want to tune it down a little bit to maybe fit in with some other sequence that you already have going on. And there's a bunch of these included samples that you can just throw right in to your DAW and you're ready to, uh, to go either by programming them like we did in our uh, beginning section, which is what this is here. So all that's being played or triggered with just, you know, single, uh, single notes. If you would prefer to just grab the sample itself and throw it in the uh, DAW, you can do that as well. If you just navigate to the folder that you have uh, the Gypsy Fiddle installed to, open it up, head in here to samples, and you're gonna see phrases and effects. And then you can see all of your different phrases. These are just WAV files that you can then throw into uh, your DAW wherever you want. So just grab one here, for example, and throw it in. Maybe another one. Also in here, in the uh, phrases and effects, you're gonna have your effects rack. It's gonna be laid out the same way as the uh, main Gypsy Fiddle, all right? So that is Red Room Audio's Gypsy Fiddle. Again, head over here to redroomaudio.com, read more about it and listen to more of those samples, a lot of uh, you know more traditional samples over here so you can get a better idea of will it fit into the style of music that you want to make, all right? And if you wanna learn even more about it, you can come over here and check out the video walkthrough that they already have posted on their own YouTube channel, all right? So that is Red Room Audio's Gypsy Fiddle.